First thing we're going to do is cut our pipe to length with our Harmer Frank tubing cutter, pipe cutter, sorry. Every twist is given a corner turn. Next thing I'm going to do is ream the inside of my pipe to make that a half inch piping end. You can see it's more like 3 eighths now. And you don't need one of these reamers to get this done. There's other ways to do this. I've done videos on it you can watch. Alright, we ream that out to half inch. Here I have my Regen OOR pipe, hand pipe threader. This goes up to one inch pipe. The dies come out. And you can even replace the, the threads in here with new ones. First thing I want to do is put a little bit of oil on my threads. Cutting oil, of course. Or any other oil you have. And from here, it's just a process of making your thread. Do it with my hand, takes a little bit of time. I have a box down below here to catch the shavings and the oil. Okay, my threaders gone in past the end of the pipe, which I'm okay with there. That'll make nice threads. We'll go ahead and remove. We need to flip this around so we ratchet the other way. Okay, there we have a nice set of threads. I have a fending to try here. Fending goes on pretty nice. All my threads are complete, there's none broken. Okay, fitting goes on nice. And you don't have to try your fittings on. When you thread them, your threads usually come out pretty nice and they don't have to be tested or anything. You 
see the threads. Sometimes if your knives aren't good or they're dull, you'll see breaks in the threads. But we don't have any here. All the threads look real nice. The only thing we got left to do is clean the oil off. It's rain use. 